We are at a place in our district where we have an understanding that we need to look at how we're uh, educating our children for the world of tomorrow and ask ourselves whether or not we could do a better job. Really give it a, a whole learning pathway rather than these compartmentalized sort of approaches that we often put education into. Our goal is to prepare every young person for the opportunities that are available to them and to give them the tools they need to be able to realize their dreams and their passions. You can figure out which way to turn stuff, which way to tighten things. Do I do arts? Do I do science? Do I do humanities? Yes. This is what's most fulfilling. This is where I will be the most productive. My challenge was how, how can I get kids to buy in as much as they can into their learning, make it as meaningful as possible, and really have them be owners, full-on stakeholders in their experience. So it is about giving an opportunity for students to learn differently, and they run with it. The takeaway that I have about today is how important it's going to be for us who are in post-secondary education and training to work so closely with our partners in the school districts to make sure that students have a meaningful educational journey from, from kindergarten all the way to when they, they finish post-secondary education. I'm working on a gearbox with my friends, creating gear, gearing systems for our sumo bots. These kids are working on a lot of different skill sets. Um, primarily, there's opportunities for them to identify who they are, their sparks, what gets them up in the morning and excited about learning. In our small school district of about 7,000 students, we have roughly 50 students a year that are doing level one trades training and the community has been fantastic in taking these students into their auto mechanic shops, into their construction sites or plumbing or electrical contractors. It's all about getting kids learning about the diversity that's out there for careers. Let's form some, some opportunities to teach things either in a different way or to teach new skill sets, things that really will help people succeed later on in life and, and that indeed is encouraging. We have a culture of innovation in our district. It's, it's, it's got some legs now. It's three and four years worth widespread. There isn't a school in our district that doesn't have something they could showcase. And my sense from the community is that they're both proud of what we're doing and that is helpful for us. And I'm hoping that they understand that we couldn't do this without them. And so I'm, I'm believing that this has been a very positive event for us.